What's up YouTube, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we are going to be answering a question that one of our subscribers asked us uh, some time ago. We finally got around to answering the question. And that question was, why do you always recommend hauls of which are really expensive? Now there is that adage, now admittedly a lot of the time we do recommend tools which are quite expensive, uh, but there is that adage or that saying that goes, uh, cheap tools aren't good and good tools aren't cheap. Now the reality is the real main plastering brands uh, that are worth mentioning, Marshalltown, Rafina, Nella, and Ox. Now there are a few other honorable mentions, but they generally tend to be the four main brands when it comes to skimming as such, their tools are not particularly cheap. That said, every so often, there is a little diamond in the rough, a little gem of a tool that you come by, which is fantastic and doesn't cost the earth. And today is that day. Now I have featured this tool many times uh, on our channel. I've made mention of it, etc. They are absolutely brilliant. Every single plasterer that has ever worked with us and they've tried out these tools are just like, they're amazing, and then they go and buy them. So if you're not convinced, just trust me, consider buying them, and then you can thank me later. But anyway, needless to say, it's these puppies here. What are they? It's not a fan to cool yourself on a hot day. No, these are actually black plastic scrapers. Now what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can buy them on Amazon. For a set of five, I think it's about six quid. I don't even know how it's possible to make five of these uh, for that kind of money, but I'm not complaining. Now what I will say is these two here, in my opinion, they're rubbish. So these are the three which we use all the time. Now, what I'll actually do, now I've actually tried to shoot this video before I actually mentioned it I, on, on our channel, was on the community section that I shot this entire video and the audio was lost, so I had to bit it off. So fingers crossed, what I'll try and do is I'll just try and show you uh, a few clips of that other video where these are uh, being used. Now, why are these so good? Now. What these essentially are doing is they are replacing the job, in our opinion, of a margin trowel. Now, one of the biggest issues with a margin trowel, as you know, is that you're using those for really awkward, irritating places, like for instance, side of door frames, um, where you've got a radiator pipe sticking out the wall, um, and you've got to get that bit underneath the radiator, etc. Um, maybe around sockets, etc. where basically you're just trying to sludge gear in. Now the issue with the margin trowel, because they're made of metal, they never really sharpen up. So what happens is they drag the plaster, it leaves a pretty ropey finish. In fact, an awful lot of plasters, what they do is they sludge the plaster in, leave it to go right off, scrape it back with a margin trowel, and then rub it up with a brush. Um, and it doesn't look great. Why are these brilliant? Well, because they're plastic, they don't need to be razor sharp because they don't drag the plaster. So these are absolutely fantastic for getting a really nice smooth finish when it comes to, say for instance, down the side of door frames where you've got a tiny little strip, uh, around awkward sockets, you know, etc. so forth. So that is one job that they are absolutely fantastic for. The second thing which we use them for all the time, pretty religiously now, is for cleaning out the corners. Now, I know you get a lot of plush say, well, that's what a twitch is for. If you do your job right, you don't need to do that, etc. so forth, blah, blah, blah. The truth of it is, no plaster is perfect, regardless of what you think. And for the plasters that might feel inclined to leave a comment saying, speak for yourself, uh, good on you, this tool is obviously not for you. But what you find, it's really easy, perhaps when you're doing a lot of wet corners, maybe you get maybe a little hole, or perhaps you've used um, a corner trowel or a twitcher and it's left that irritating line that the twitcher leaves. Uh, these plastic scrapers take that out. Not only that as well, if you're perhaps doing a ceiling and then two walls, so you've got three wet corners coming together, it sometimes can be quite difficult to fill or sharpen that very uh, point of the corner. 
This is where these come in because what you can do when it's uh, pulled right in and the set's almost finished, you could just use this plastic scraper just to nick out that corner or fill in any tiny little holes that you have and it just sharpens up your edge. The other thing which we are absolutely fantastic for is cleaning up against the side of windows. It's one of the big downsides with regards to, say for instance, margin trowels or small tools, etc., that are metal. It's really easy to damage UPVC windows or anodized metal windows. Because these are plastic, they do not scrape alongside the window, so you can get that nice, sharp, crisp line against the window without damaging it. So for the subscriber that asks, why do we never uh, recommend cheap tools? Well, we can say finally, yes, here is a tool that is reasonably priced that I am recommending for you. I cannot rate these highly enough. For six quid, they are an absolute lifesaver. They've got us out of the poo so much, especially uh, one of the other things which is absolutely brilliant. From time to time, you might get misses um, where for whatever reason you've not spotted it. These fill these in so nicely because you can just use a little bit of fat, touch it up, and it just still leaves that nice slick finish. It doesn't run the risk of uh, pulling up the uh, plaster uh, where a metal trowel uh, sometimes does that. So thoroughly recommended. As I said, I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, although it comes as a set of five, in our opinion, the top three sizes are the best. Um, I'm not entirely sure what size that is, maybe two inch, maybe three inches, maybe four inches, and then I think this is a six inch one. This one works really well for like, for instance, around loft hatches, etc. Or perhaps if you've got a um, uh, top of a door frame where the ceiling's quite low, um, this works really well for kneading above those top of the door frames where you can't get a trowel in. So, thoroughly recommended. And for the subscribed, mention the fact I never <laughs> Uh, recommend cheap tools. My apologies, but I do stand uh, by that reasoning that cheap tools aren't good and good tools aren't cheap. Just occasionally there is an exception, and in this case, it's these plastic scrapers. We hope this video you find helpful. Consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks again.